everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and let's get you a message for whenever you are finding this video. If you like this content, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And of course, if you would like a personal reading with me, just go to angelsouls444.com. As of the recording of this, I am, again, running ahead of schedule on readings. Please bear in mind that all terms still apply, which means, as I've said before, if a bunch of people get in line ahead of you, then you're not gonna get it within a week, right? <laughs> okay, so just remember that. Of course, I have some writing newsletters over at Substack. I have a bright live event coming up on Archangel Gabriel. There's all kinds of good stuff going on. Check out the links below. All right. So we're really being stretched here. <laughs> we are being very, very challenged. And I'm getting the sense here that a lot of things are coming in and squeezing us because the idea here is that we're supposed to be waking up to what's not working, right? I mean, that seems so simplistic, but... A lot of us surprisingly hang on to things and really, really block our progress because we won't try something new or we're so sort of blinded by what we're used to that we won't try anything else or we, we've made up our mind about situations or people and I mean, it's our perception that gets us stuck is what I'm feeling. So we have some conflict going on here. Like I said, I feel like we're being pinched financially. I'm going to be making a whole video about being a freelancer. So if any of you are interested in that, check that out. I want to, yeah. And the reason why I bring that up is because as we change and people are trying to find more of their independence and break away from the system, there are some realities that people <laughs> should probably know before they make that leap. But anyway, we first out have five of Gabriel. Okay. So this is a challenge you can resolve. So we can get through this. This is waking us up to what is there, all right? Sorry, I had to adjust my camera. That was bothering me. Anyway, <laughs> when I pulled this out, I immediately thought of people who were like, yeah, well, we've known what the problem is for a very long time. But listen to what it says. Withdraw from the drama of others. Sometimes people love to go seek out information because it, they're like the hot takers, right? Like they want to be the first ones to discover it. And instead of just informing, they're sort of... Uh, pressuring people to get as upset as they are and to feel the way about it that they do. And it's not with good intentions. It's not like, hey, I want to save the world. It's I want to be known for having discovered this and breaking the story. Does that make sense? Okay. Here, and let me just tell you, we have Leap of Faith, which is a brand new beginning, two of Michael, indecision, and the moon. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> right? Like, not me. I know what I'm doing here. But this is, I think, what a lot of people are going through right now, where it's like my intuition is telling me to go a certain way, but I don't know how to get there. I'm feeling like I need to start fresh and get away from this, but the steps are not immediately clear. And this could be a huge battle to get away from something. This also, I'm getting the message here that this could be divorces. There's no justice card here. There's nothing like that, but that's just what I'm feeling. I'm picking up on. So there's a lot of conflict in how to move forward. That kind of plays into this two of Michael here. Let me read it. It says, it will be better if you just make a decision. Analyzing a problem, find a compromise. I'm neither here nor there. I'm in the awful place of in-between. That is a phrase that I use in a lot of my writing. <laughs> so like, I'm just in this place of, uh, you know, the old way doesn't fit, the new way's not in place just yet. And there is kind of overthinking it and also getting scared. I know, I'm not reading these in the traditional way. It's not like I don't know what these messages are, guys. But I've been a card reader for a while. And uh, first and foremost, I'm a medium. So <laughs> I am picking up on whatever is coming through to present to everybody. So this is feeling internal conflict. This might be conflict with the outside world as well. Some of you are just tired of not being appreciated in the work that you do or how you show up. And the work that you do could also be... Um, like for charities and things like that. And maybe you you want to help, but you know, you're again, you're not being appreciated. So I think you're getting into this place of I I can't do the fight anymore. There's already too much going on in the world. I know I need to move on, but I'm not sure how. That's where this actually came out first. <laughs> the leap of faith, Archangel Metatron, and then along with the moon, the intuition. Okay, Metatron is about activating your higher self, your higher chakras. 
Yeah, and all the, the book of life, all of that. So this says, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. That's Leap of Faith. The Moon, Archangel Haniel. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. We, oh, I'm getting chills. Okay, so we are being kind of forced into a new way of life. This could look like growing your own food. Be aware of that. Grow your own food. Water testing, make sure you're testing your water. If you have the chance to turn off your Wi-Fi, do it. I'm really trying not to be doom and gloom here. <laughs> so on an individual level, because of course during this time, you know, we've been through very stressful times and people are just trying to survive. And I think that's why there's popularity and you know, just tell me the information, just make it straightforward. I don't wanna to have to think about facing my traumas. I don't wanna to have to think about healing my past. I just, I just need a little something to get, me, to get me by. What does that sound like? Just give me my next hit, you know, and then I can get by. That's again, why these, some of these hook readings are, these fortune telling readings have become so popular, even though they're not telling you anything new. Okay, they're not telling you anything new, but that's where we're at. So there's something there around, around every area of your life. There's something cracking open. So in spirituality, you realize, okay, well, I've been manifesting, but I haven't been taking action to draw things into my existence and make them happen, right? Um, that Leap of Faith card, please check out my freelancers video when I get it up because I see it all the time with my clients where they're like, oh, I went off and started my own business, but reality hits them. And now they're even more lost and in that struggle <laughs> all over again because they weren't ready for it. And I understand that struggle. I've been through it for almost a decade. So let me get more here. You guys are, sorry. So on, on an individual level, you're going to have to make changes. Again, realizing manifestation, I can't just do it from a shallow space. It doesn't work. My job has not been good for forever, but I need to put in a real plan to, you know, go towards the next thing. Yeah, we'll have a favorable outcome. I'll read this here in a second. But this also has to do with love partnerships, friendships, how you interact with family. It, it, it's like there's, there's nothing left to give. And from that place of getting fed up, something can grow from that. Push too far. Yeah, someone's been pushed too far. Now, for everybody watching this video, it's going to have a different meaning. That's the beauty of doing general readings. Every single person is going to pick up something else. But we just had a full moon as of the recording of this video. And it's really shining a light on what we've been, I'm going to say it, what we've been doing wrong. What we've been doing wrong, whether it's how we see ourselves and we just haven't been giving ourselves a chance, whether we <laughs> think we're more special than anybody else. I mean, people who have always put themselves on a pedestal or been self-centered, they are going to have the hardest time and they, cause they're gonna come crashing down. It's already happening and they're not gonna know what to do. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna, not knowing what to do, they're gonna go scramble to someone to get advice and be pulling on other people's energy. So that's a part of the message here too. Don't start feeling like when people come to you and they're like, oh my gosh, my life is in shambles. Like you've got your own problems. And I'm not encouraging other people to be self-centered, but this is somebody who's constantly trying to get everybody to fawn all over them, always playing the victim. Get that in check, okay? But be ready guys. You're being asked to change your perspective, number one. That is going to be the hardest thing because things are gonna be coming up for you that feel like obstacles. Like everywhere you turn, things just are not working. And it's like mentally you try to push past it, but it's not happening. And I hate to say this, but this is kind of a hurry up and wait kind of scenario. Nobody wants to hear that, but that's what you need to hear, all right? Because there are things out in the world that need to settle in place first. Let me get, ah, I'm getting I'm kind of pulled all over in different directions. There's a lot of different messages coming through. It'd be too much to get through in a video, but um, a favorable outcome. It says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. 
So things are balancing out, but if you have expectations, if you think that you've got uh, a firm grasp on what things are gonna look like, it's gonna get blown open. It's gonna be okay though. That's what I wanna give you. There could be a lot of shakeups. There could be a lot of sort of even panicky moments of like, I gotta hurry up and make a decision. Maybe it's a house that you're trying to buy. You gotta hurry up and make a decision about it. It's a stay balanced and you will have a favorable outcome. But I am telling you guys, if you are somebody who does not like to change and grow or be adaptable and it's like spirituality is just to um, sort of try to connive the universe to get what you want, <laughs> right? This is not going to work for you. All right. Blessings are coming. All right. Blessings are coming. This is, sorry, I'm like... Suspense, right? Uh, your children are watched over by angels. I want to tell the people out there who may have been affected by violence against children, that was coming up as soon as I pulled this out, that the children are okay on the other side. And they are guiding. I'm sorry, guys. I, I was trying to make this like <laughs> lighthearted. I was hoping this would be lighthearted. Let me read this and I'll explain what's coming up. Dear guardian angels of my children, born and un unborn, thank you for watching over my children and ensuring their happiness and safety. Please guide me so that I know the best ways to be a good parent and role model for my own and others people, other people's children. This is a call for more protection for our kids, first and foremost. And here in the United States, we've had some really awful events. So first and foremost, that's what that is. As soon as this popped out, I, I got this... Uh, message to pass along that the kids on the other side are better than okay <laughs> they're doing great and I hear that they're helping and I feel this whole gathering of these children I'm gonna get another card on this can you guys give me clarification on this this is this is more than just what it says on the card much more it's like an army of kids. And I, I didn't want to put it that way because I don't want to like associate kids with like an army, right? Like they're going to go to war or something. God forbid. Um, I'm confused. Okay. This is your life's purpose. Archangel Michael, you know the details of my divine life purpose. And I ask to help, I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clearly guide my actions so that I'm taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. So for some of you on a surface level, maybe you're going down the road of helping kids or maybe you're a teacher, education, that sort of thing. This card came out and it felt like the kids on the other side. And like they had a, they have a bigger purpose to fulfill. They're not, the kids are not there to guide us. That's not what they're there for. They're there, it's, it's like using their innocence for good kind of thing. Is it crazy to say that they're <laughs> helping the angels? Um, they're not angels themselves necessarily, but guardians and protectors. I just see a bunch of kids And especially, especially the kids, you know, the examples that are popping up in my head, the kids from certain events, okay, um, in case that would be triggering or painful for anybody, but they're, they're going to do duty, they're going to do their duty from the other side. And so they're great. They're doing great. But they're stepping up. Because innocence is the only thing we have left. And innocence is the only thing that's going to help pull us out of what we're doing here. I know what this sounds like. And of course, we all have to put, we can't just accept that kind of message. Where it's like, well, what does that mean? That they're, you know, going to come in and save the world. No, they are watching over us in some way, though. Don't be asking children to bring you your wishes and all that. We are such a self-preserving, like I've said before, our self-preservation mode, the third dimensional ego consciousness is broken. It's malfunctioning. 
what is the sudden surge in narcissism? You can't ignore that. And the only people who get bothered by me saying that are narcissists. Okay? So keep that in mind. Or they're enablers. We are so not alone. <laughs> we are so not alone here. And what we need to do here is make sure we're doing more than the surface level stuff. Okay? So don't just get up in the morning and think about yourself. Don't just get up in the morning and worry about your bills or whatever. Say, I can't support you because I don't have the money and I'm so broke and I'm so this, I'm so that. And you're just constantly in your own little bubble here. There is a call to wake up our consciousness. It, it's been there for a while, but this is different. This is like, we need to activate, I'm gonna use that word activate. <laughs> we sort of need to activate our own inner child to connect with these kids. And it's something along the lines of, it's like these kids are, are guiding our inner children. And that, and that inner child is going to guide our actions, no matter what age you are. I don't get it myself. I know. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Let me get um, one of these cards over here. Because it's through innocence that we're going to heal. We've got to get back to our original selves, and that's part of the inner child um, healing. And please don't do this from the standpoint of a victim. Okay? You're an adult now. Most people who are watching this, you're an adult now, so you can heal yourself. You don't need to keep living in the past and living in the pain. And oh my gosh. Okay. So let me see if I can get these out here like this. So these were sitting here like this. And it occurred to me that this, even though it's the moon and all that stuff, this felt like Mother Gaia looking over. There's a lot going on behind the scenes, beyond the veil, okay? There's a lot going on. So this felt like Mother Earth sort of looking this way and like there's a plan. We have angels, we have children. Be very interesting. I'm gonna break this down into dailies too, but I wanna make it clear, it's not like the kids are going to war, okay? <laughs> On the other side, I don't mean to make it sound like that. But these little souls are saying, they see the pain in their family members. They're seeing the pain in humanity. And they're saying, some of them are saying, I don't wanna go back in. I'm gonna lay that down. Some of them are definitely saying, I don't wanna go back in but they are serving from the other side and they are fortified, they are happy and they are going to help. They're saying bring inner child, your inner child to life. Okay, <laughs> so this fell out of the deck. Apricot, rejoice and laugh. The, the, the number is 20. <laughs> rejoice and laugh. So here is this feeling here of these kids helping us find our joy, our peace in some way. So especially to uh, survivors, the kids that survived, um, any child that's on the other side, um, when you find yourself feeling childlike and giggling and wanting to go on the swing set or <laughs> go to an amusement park or something like that, it's their influence. It's the influence of innocence. I don't fully understand it myself, okay? I'm just, like I said, I'm doing the best I can here. But they are there. They are there. And they're saying, we don't need to live like this. This is imposed, all right? So the systems in place are there to work against us and to make us feel bad, <laughs> right? And that lowers our frequency. These kids are helping us remember our own hearts in a way. And again, the heart in the sense of the gateway to the soul, if you want to see it that way, to the inner child, to your joy, to your peace. Finding a way to lighten up and to be grateful for what is and to be laughing. Please comment down below how this is working out for you once you see this video. I'd be very curious to see what happens 
This is also the kids here on earth speaking up. Now we don't want to put this weight on their shoulders, but like I'm hearing, um, is it Tom Petty? Won't back down. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually hearing that song in my head. And uh, of course it has a, a really great refrain and you know, it's kind of like calling it out. I won't back down. So these kids that are here on earth, they're gonna grow up to be the voice of these kids that crossed over. And whether they're aware of it or not, I'm getting this feeling here that on a soul level, they're working with each other. The kids that are being born in since 2015, like I, I'm almost finding it hard to even talk and to even breathe um, because it's beautiful. That's how beautiful this is. They're here to make us see. They're here to not save, but make us see. And as much as we do want to sort of hold back and let it be someone else's problem to fix things or um, we do just want to not have to work on ourselves and people want to just go around with broken personalities and harming other people through those broken personalities and people are allowing themselves to be brainwashed by certain personality types making you know excuses for them and allowing them to get away with things these kids are here they see right through that they see right through that they're not messing around it's gonna be very different in the times to come very different and I know I can feel everybody kind of going what the heck is this like what what does that have to do with me absolutely nothing except you need to stop just thinking about yourself and I think 100% that this is don't you dare forget the kids don't you dare don't push it aside and say, I can't handle looking at this. Don't you dare. But I can't stop thinking about yourself like that. There are people out there who can't walk away from these horrors. And burying our head in the sand is not going to do anything, now is it? Arguing politics is not going to do anything, is it? We've seen it. We've seen it. It's not been helpful so far. These kids are sending some sort of messaging here. And it will probably, again, I don't want to sit here and say that they are the, the guardians of these kids that are speaking up that we'll see in the, even the coming years. I don't want to say that. But there is a connection there. There's a reason why they were all in the same room. There's a reason why some of them survived and some didn't. They're connected. And there's a team that's handling it from one side and a team that's handling it from this side. And anybody who turns away will find things ripped away. Anybody who's just trying to pretend like things aren't happening because they don't want to be dragged down. First and foremost, we're here to help our fellow human beings in a balanced, harmonious, loving way. Again, not to just jump in and save them and be their enablers. So when we look away, which is what a lot of people in spirituality do, because everyone either tries to pretend like they're too precious to look at it, or it's going to drag their energy down. Well, if you've really done the soul work, your energy is, I mean, you might feel a little sad and whatever, but you're gonna feel like called to action. You're going to know exactly what kind of energy. If your energy is strong and you have done your work, it's not going to be so susceptible to, to seeing things. It's not going to be so easily crushed if you're strong. And that's where we need to get. I just want to say one final thing here in that whenever we laugh and rejoice, we are honoring those kids. And... We're keeping their spirit alive here. It's already alive, but 
just know that they have a very important mission. And they're saying all is not lost. We'll leave it there. Please don't turn away. Please share this. Please listen to this without judgment. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.